Do you have a pen, marker, and paper at hand? Good. Draw a simple glass of red wine, any size shape you want. Done? If your drawing looks anything like this, today's clip might interest you. Lines and color fields are very basic building blocks of every drawing or illustration, and this is why we should talk about it. Probably you started drawing the outline first, then filling in the color. And fair enough, the human brain likes structure. For this task, however, I want you to start with the basic shape first. In the beginning, you can start with the line of action, which should be familiar. But instead of a single line, you draw or paint a bigger shape that shows the flow of the pose. You can use a marker or watercolor. Here comes your creativity into play. Play around with colors and shapes and exaggerate the flow. Next, you take a marker or ballpoint pen or something like that. Now follow your intuition and start blind drawing the pose right on top of the drawing you already have. Don't think about it too much. Just draw the parts that you feel work best. Maybe some detail on his outfit or you want to focus more on the face. Just try not to lift the pencil from the paper while drawing. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. The result can and maybe even should look messy. It's more important at this stage to be expressive than accurate. This is also a chance for you to experiment with the composition of the drawing, balancing lines and color fields. Because this process is kind of random, it gives you a new and different composition each time that you otherwise might not have come up with. For later drawings, of course, you can look at the paper again and try to be more accurate. But this technique is supposed to give you a new idea about composition. Let's be honest, you're probably not gonna win any awards with this technique. But at least it's kind of fun, right? Don't forget that every mistake at this point brings you closer to finding your own individual style. And sometimes some pretty cool stuff comes out of it. Some people would call it happy little accidents. Wink!